God damn it. Somebody get Oscar the Grouch a PBR. Roadhouse. Today we'll be talking about fixing your broken exhaust manifold. I'm Clyde and this is Tommy. Welcome to the Lot House! Cheers! Exhaust leaks are common in Jeeps with a 4 liter engine. Especially with the exhaust manifold. Ours was leaking from a crack in the collector where the tubes joined together. Very common. Yeah, very common and the fix usually comes with an upgrade. Upgrade! We already upgraded. Problem solved! No. What? Well, we had limited funds at the time so rather than getting something made in the land of the free, we got something made from the People's Republic. And now we're back to square one. So today, we're gonna install an American made hammer. No, we don't have that in the budget. We're gonna get another cheap old eBay hammer. No, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that old crappy one out, we're gonna gab it back together, and we're gonna reinstall it. Is that our best option? After spending our last coin on a case of PVR and a tank of gas, yeah. All right then, let's get to work. Now first thing, we're gonna need some room to work. So let's get this air box out of the way. Once that's out of the way, start disconnecting everything that's attached to the intake. Don't worry about labeling any of the electrical connectors. They're all different, so they can only go back on one way. Now we're going to take out all the bolts that hold the intake and exhaust manifold on. Some are tricky to get at, so you might have to get creative with the tools that you use to get them out. There's also a couple of bolts holding onto the power steering pump bracket. Depending on your year and model, you might have to remove the whole pump. Now off with the fuel line support. Then get the rest of the manifold bolts out. There should be 11 all together. And out with the intake manifold. Oh yeah, don't forget to disconnect your fuel lines. We can just flop the intake off to the side while we do the rest of the job. The collector bolts are next. Now she's ready to come out. Now this old gasket's trash. So here's where the problem is. Quality work, fellas. So we're just gonna clean it up a bit with a grinder before welding it back together. Oh, hey, I'll get a bag for you. Gabbing this thing back together, we're gonna take our sweet time tack by tack, making sure we don't put too much heat to it. Too much heat can change the characteristics of the metal and distort the shape, making it want to pull itself apart again. Once 
Once it's cooled down a bit, give it a coat of high temp paint. While the paint's drying, clean up the mating surface. And install your new gasket. Now to put it back together, we're gonna do what we did to take it apart, but the other way around. There is a torque pattern. So to save you guys from having to look it up, here it is. Now you can go ahead and put all your plugs and vacuum lines back in. Take your time and make sure you didn't miss any. And the last part, get your air box back in. And you're done. So, what are we doing the next episode? Tommy, this is where we talk about what we did today and kind of wrap things up. But I was so bored. This is the kind of job that takes only one guy. If you've got pals around, make sure you got something to keep them occupied. We'll see in the next episode. Remember, if it's cheap, there's probably a good reason for it. What do you guys want to see it? Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button and, and subscribe. subscribe. Hello, my name's Sheila Whitaker, and this is my 60-inch gong.